Hi, welcome back and in today's video we'll be looking at the oil pump for the Honda CBF or CB125F and unfortunately you can't buy the individual parts for this so if any of yours are worn you have to replace the whole unit. Now there are three things we need to check and the first one is the end float and that's the, the difference between the rotors and the uh, end plate so we need to put a straight edge across here and then measure underneath. And secondly, it's the outer rotor to body clearance. And thirdly, the inner rotor. And if all those are okay, it's good to go. But the problem I had with this one is that some of the debris from the broken piston have managed to find its way in and score the back plate. And here you can see the circular grooves. And obviously that allows oil to spill or travel through the grooves, which will reduce the oil pressure. So I have two options here. I can either replace the entire pump or I can try and remove these grooves by uh, sanding it and removing the material. Now the groove wasn't very deep but I could just feel it with my thumbnail. So I don't think I have to take too much off. And here I am with my flat aluminium bar and some wet and dry and a few drops of oil. It was quite tricky to sand actually because I kept sanding through my fingernails. Still see just a faint, faint line, but I don't think that's going to be enough to affect the oil pressure. Okay, so I can go back on. Squirt a bit of oil in there. Now this screw was extremely tight because it's uh, if you look at the thread, it's not a not a proper screw in a way. If I, it is a screw, it's not a bolt, which it should be. So it's just basically screwed into the aluminium. Okay. Right, thanks for watching, and if you found that useful or interesting, you know what to do. See you in the next one.